Asalaamu Alaikum guys, um, so it's Shweb here again from Hujaj.co um, Before many of you leave for Hajj um, and obviously in the future many of you will be going on Umrah I thought I'd uh, go through some of the things which I pack when um, we go on Hajj or Umrah and to give you a sort of a rough guide of what kind of things and what kind of direction your mind should be going in. This is not to say that everything that I've packed you should pack and that this is everything you need and you won't need anything else. And every, every single person is different and will need things according to their own uh, criteria. I'm going to jump right in and start showing you the things that are uh, in front of me. So I've basically got laid out on a bed um, like many people who go um, will just lay down everything before they head out. They'll lay down everything so they get a good visualization of what they've packed. Um, and then they can just go ahead and start putting it in the bag and make sure that everything's there. We've released a checklist as well on hujaj.co. So if you have a look, um, and we're sharing it as a, as a uh, PDF as well. So if, if you have a look, then we've got a checklist for this as well. You probably want to just print it out or whatever and then uh, add your own things according to your own requirements as well. So the first... First thing I've got here is a small Quran um, and a like a masala. It's not just good for when you're traveling. It's also good for when you're in Masjid Haram, for example. Um, if you're in a busy area, it's nice to just put uh, something down. Got a dua book like Hisn al-Muslim. Got um, a Hajj guide of some kind. Um, and then got some other dua books. Um, Oil is really useful for to stop any chafing um, when you are walking or Vaseline. I've got this massive water bottle here. Um, these are great to fill up with Zamzam when you come back as well. And then you can drink Zamzam throughout the day. But it's really good. It's really important to have this and keep hydrated while you're on Hajj. String bag uh, to put your shoes in when you enter Masjid Haram. It can be really difficult to remember where you put your shoes. And for people to pick up their shoes, I've lost my um, most favourite sandals. In Masjid Haram, the, the one time I didn't use my string bag. Um, have some, have a passport photocopy of your passport and a copy or the original of your meningitis certificate. Have the original and maybe have a photocopy as well. Have like a notepad and a pen. Um, it's not just like to journal your experiences. It's it's mainly you know to make sure that you don't forget certain things. Um, a spare plastic bags, many pl spare plastic bags, because when you're coming back and when you want to separate dirty clothes from clean clothes and for many other reasons. Um, if you do read, then some uh, reading glasses with their case. Um, a spare bag, maybe. Um, I've, I've put that there to just sort of, sort of represent, I, number one, hand luggage. Just remember on your hand luggage, you're going to have certain things. And also to remind you that pack an extra bag in, uh, because when you're coming back, you're going to have more things more likely than going because you'll have dates, for example, and gifts. So coming back to the front here. So we've got, um, obviously we've got the Vaseline, we've got cream or whatever you take with you, some um, shaving gel, we've got tissues, uh, antiseptic wipes, some shower gel. Now you might think to yourself, well, I'm going, I've got a hotel and it's a five-star hotel. Um, but when you're in Mina, um, most likely, you know, you might need these things. So this is what you're packing it for uh, to be on the safe side. Some toilet roll. When we were in Arafat, um, the toilet roll finished. So that was uh, difficult. Um, some You might want some deodorant, some sort of uh, fragrance-free one. That that one isn't fragrance -free. I'm not recommending it. Um, some shampoo as well. A comb. Um, you, you'll be you know, probably shaving your head afterwards, but before that, um, and also the fact that uh, obviously women not need a comb anyway. Some disposable razor blades because so you can just shave your head um, if you need to or whatever, and then get going from there. Remember scissors, um, nail cut. What can be difficult to get it there? Again, some soap. Um, try to get some fragrance-free soap uh, because the ones. Uh, oh yeah, that's another point. Uh, the soap and shampoos and everything that you'll have in the hotel will have fragrance in them so it's good to sort of get it for that reason as well you've got a towel spare towel um, or a flannel as well to help with the heat Br toothbrush toothpaste miswak and going across there we've got 
uh, slippers or sandals. So they're the ones I use for Hajj and Umrah. Uh, and then I've got a good pair of clothes, socks, vests, underwear and hats. Um, so this is like a brimmed hat. So it kind of protects you from the sun. I've never worn this in my life. This is there for representation purposes. I wouldn't wear such a thing. There you go. I've got it on now. Uh, what I find is more suitable is um, is like an Arab headgear, um, like basically getting a a khutra and wrapping that around. However, it doesn't matter whether you're not used to wearing it. You can just wrap it around your head anyway. The great advantage of that is when you're going around doing dwarf, you can douse it in some some some, put it on your head, and that will keep your temperature right down. Um, what else do we got? Topies are better than other things as well so have a topi obviously in ihram you can't wear a topi if you're taking kids on umrah for example getting a little cap uh, is good as well what we've got here we've got dry packed food this is great because you might feel hungry throughout the day at some point anyway but the main thing is when you're in the airport um in jeddah airport um you need some food for for that because it could take up to 10 hours then i've got a line of medicines here you've got you've got strep seals the pyramide is just imodium then you've got ibuprofen, you've got diorolite or oral rehydration salts. And in case you get vomiting and diarrhea, then um, diorolite will help you bring back the electrolytes, um, which is which is very needed. Um, and you've got paracetamol, ibuprofen, that sort of thing. And then you've got a travel adapter. You've got a spare charger. Saudi Arabia have the two pin um, electric, electric sockets some spare bags you might want to take like a hanger or something when you iron your clothes and stuff it's difficult to come across that sort of stuff some plasters there and if you're taking children i'd take some reins with you they're the reins which we take when we go on umrah with the kids um and there's many other things as well which things which i can't show you so for example you might want to take a push chair but the problem with taking a push chair is um in masjid al-haram and masjid al once you get inside the masjid uh, they don't allow uh, push chairs in so or wheelchair if you're taking children just take a wheelchair i know it sounds silly but buy a wheelchair here it might be better to take it across and you can buy it there as well and that's another point that um all of these things that i've just shown you every single one of them you can just buy there as well obviously you might pay all the odds for it when you're there not that much either i mean there's a shop there called bindawud which is like the tesco of uh of saudi arabia so you can buy things out there. It's not the end of the world if you forget anything. Just remember the important things like ihram um, and a spare ihram. <laughs> and you've got things like sunglasses, which can really help because the marble of Masjid Haram is, uh, is, is really, really bright and it can really hurt your eyes. Um, and obviously where I'm showing sort of men's clothes and uh, thobes and shalwar kameezes and stuff, obviously for women we're going to have abayas and spare buyers and spare scarves and stuff like that. Just a point to remember, um, when you're there, then the hijab that you do wear uh, has to be the complete correct hijab. And obviously women would need to have their own considerations when going on Hajj as well. And that's it. So we've got the checklist. Have a look at the checklist and uh, and take it from there. Okay. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah.